we're trying to do is to establish a an economy here that can function uh, first of all uh, pay my wife and I's hard bills we don't owe any property we don't owe anything on the property so we've kind of got that going for us but it still takes money to live so we're trying to get the greenhouse continuing to grow mm -hmm. and um, and to supplement labor because I can't do it I'll supplement labor with people who want to come and we keep the fridge full of food and they stay here and they work and they soak and and they come and go and we've been able to keep the yurt busy it's used every night if it happens to be empty I come down and sleep so you rent it out or they just work or no we don't there's no money involved hmm. this idea of trying to get the money out of the deal and create a situation where everybody feels like they're getting a really good deal mm -hmm. is so much more fun mm -hmm. like Absolutely. like if people are working really hard then I'm going out of my way to make up for it somehow and and if people are just maybe not feeling good then it's totally fine you know take the morning and relax it's because it's not what it is so it's just a super elegant way to do it Um, we're in the pro in the pond. We have bass and fishing game is in the process of clearing them out and relocating them, and we're putting trout in here. And so, what we're working on, uh, what I'm working towards, is a 10-member CSA that people could get involved with the farm. They can come, stay here. They can fish. They can eat out of the greenhouse. We're 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 doing fish and poultry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the idea is they can come and play and work and feed and be just a part of what we're trying to do here. Well, yeah. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, this it, it, um, all of our water systems are flow through. So, um, so nothing ever freezes. Um, this, this we're we're building this deck. I have a friend in the neighborhood who who's been helping me in the evenings. We got this done last night. Or actually, night before I was with you guys last night, and um, we're putting a deck with a drop-in tub in the deck and so this will be heated by water during the winter and then people can stay and then people can stay here so it's you know it's, it's a really cool old really super old airstream airstreams are great yeah it's like you're turning it into kind of an echo village we're we're establishing three or four nice um tent sites you know, mm -hmm. with like level, grassy, one of them will be in those trees. The, I the idea is we want to make half of our income doing education. Mm -hmm. And we want to do, we want to do a uh, workshop one a month and we'll bring in teachers and everybody gets to learn, including us. Yeah. Because frankly, we were really new at all this. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a developer type guy, I love turning stuff on and creating little places to live. I want to get a tree house up in here really bad, mm -hmm. mostly for me. <laughs> At the end of the day, it comes down, down to supporting the local because mm -hmm. anyone, mm -hmm. anyone you hear telling the story who gets it, it always ends with, you know, take responsibility for your food system. Hey, baby. <laughs> mm. oh, gosh. Gee, you know, it, if, if we can feed ourselves, that's the first step yeah. to freedom. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. We're not raising, you know, potatoes and onions here, but our neighbors <laughs> are and so while I'm turning on a kind of a more of an educational uh, permaculture approach, they're they're doing what they do best, which is, you know, growing food and we're learning a lot about aquaculture and we're going to do some aquaponics inside the greenhouse where they have that closed loop system. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I read 
I, I went back to Growing Power in, in uh, yep. Milwaukee you and got did. to do that tour. Oh, oh yeah. lucky Watch you. Out here. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, Will Anton Allen is a is trip. Yeah, I know. Will Allen is a trip we and a half. We saw him in Washington at Mother Earth News Fair. Leslie and I went up there. Uh-huh. That was really cool. Joel Salatin. Oh, Joel Paul is Stamets. the man. Yeah. 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 He is the man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I see is when you look out at this field of potatoes, Mm -hmm. And you try to get a young person interested in farming, where it's this huge investment. Um, it it functions on chemicals of all kinds, and it's a crop that goes into a you know a big warehouse mixed with everyone else's potatoes. So there's no sense of honor or pride. There's no joy. There's no beauty. You know, yeah, so what young person <laughs> is going to join that? They're not, yeah. of course. Right. But it's absolutely true that sustainable ag is sustainable. So we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sustainable ag is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's not like torturous, you know, hoeing and weeding like we expect our Mexican brothers and sisters to do. That's not, right. that's not agriculture. So... Here, what I found, and I've stumbled into it because I didn't know about it, is if you make it beautiful, then people show up. People mm -hmm. come. And food is produced, <laughs> and it's good, healthy food, and there's no reason why that can't happen more. Mm -hmm. The idea that agriculture can be beautiful and thereby bringing people into it, mm -hmm. into the equation yeah I think is what it's all about mm -hmm. and that's what we do here and as far as I'm concerned permaculture is based on beauty mm -hmm. you know if, if it's not beautiful it's not permaculture and my definition of a permaculturist is someone who makes a desperate effort to create beauty all the time you know and is successful through trial and error and jumps in and does it and, and this creates. is this is all trial and error I I, I just learn from everybody and I, I tell people I'm shooting in the dark. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But, you know, it's an art. It's not a science. Mm -hmm. And everybody comes and they share their ideas and they get to leave the greenhouse. When we have people here regularly, it's just so, it feels magical because everybody leaves a bit of love in there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And it's just so expressive. I can't tell you, it just, you know, a couple hours turns on a whole love thing. Yeah. And you get that going and people walk in there and they're going, oh my God. <laughs>